Yeah, you know, uh, I think contract stuff is still in discussions a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not too worried about that. I have to go out there and uh, play really good football. I got to worry about getting 1% better each and every day, uh, finding my one-ups, um, whatever they are each and every day, focusing on that. Um, you know, I'm leaving my contract stuff to my agent. Uh, he does a great job with that. That's why I pay him. Um, but, you know, I just got to go out here every day, uh, continue to work and continue to get better. What do you have Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I will be talking Dallas Goddard. Yes, Dallas Goddard is in talks with the Philadelphia Eagles and getting an extension, and I like it. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. All right, um, Dallas Goddard, man. Dallas Goddard, uh, possibly about to get that extension. Obviously, it seems like the organization is about to move on from Zach Ertz. And, you know, um, salute to Zach Ertz, man. He brought a lot to this organization. I always got to say that when I big up Dallas Goddard because sometimes when you're bigging up somebody, they think you're belittling somebody. But Zach Ertz is a dog. But if you're going to pay Dallas Goddard that money, I, I don't know how you can tell Zach Ertz, like, well, you got to get paid less than Dallas Goddard for all he done. And I still think Zach Ertz is a top 10, at least top 10 tight end in this league. So, Dallas Goddard, even to pro football focus, I don't agree with them having Kyle Pitts ahead of him. But according to them, he's a top five tight end. He's a top five tight end. Um, my thing with Dallas Goddard is that I never really seen him play at a high level without um, Zach Ertz. That's my only problem. And I seen games without Zach Ertz. He wasn't that explosive. He didn't pop off the screen. But with Zach Ertz because the coverage was mainly on Zach Ertz, he did a good job. So um, maybe he can do a good job because I think our wide receiver core, especially with Devontae Smith, would be a lot better. So it wouldn't be so much focus on Dallas Goddard. And he can just be that safety blanket and come and produce like a Zach Ertz did. But salute to the Philadelphia Eagles trying to pay this man. But... You know, it's going to come at a cost, and we probably going to have to lose Zach Ertz. And I think anywhere Zach Ertz go, he's going to play at a high level. And I know we're going to be side-eyed, and like we probably should have kept him. But he was doing the right thing. I think Zach Ertz is about 30, 31. So this is the smart move. You draft this guy to replace Zach Ertz. We knew this day was going to come. Um, can't play on the team forever. Either you're going to retire or you're going to be on another team. And usually, almost 90% of the time, you're on another team. Look at Tom Brady. He's on another team. Phillip Rivers, who I thought was going to retire with his team, he played for another team. This is what goes down in the NFL. It just happens. But I love Zach Ertz. Um, I expect big things out of Dallas Goddard, man. Um yeah, I, once again, I like it. I like Howie Roseman is trying to deal with this now. Deal with this now. Don't stall it out. Just extend this man now because it's well-deserved. Uh, what do I expect from Dallas Goddard? I want at least six, 600, 700 yards. At least 600. I'm not saying 900 or 1,000 yards. That's ridiculous where you got a Jalen Rager or a Devontae Smith. I want a thousand yards. I want it out of my wide receivers, not my tight end, because that's letting us know there's something going on with the wide receiver position. So I just expect Zach. I'm sorry. I just expect Dallas Goddard to have a productive year, be that safety blanket, um, get them yak yards. I believe he will fit a Nick Sirianni offense, but we will see. Um, salute to Dallas Goddard. Salute to the front office trying to get this done now. But what do you think and how do you feel about Dallas Goddard in contract talks? Do you think um, he should take a pay cut so we can keep Zach Ertz? Or pay this man, it's time to move on. We got a Jack Stoll. We got to probably sign a veteran. And let's just rock out with the young guy. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.